that the Vatican would be the first not to permit people to practice their religion. Irony is not the word. Irony is not the word. It's much too mild. Holy Father, rethink this. If this is what the path that you're on, rethink this. You have millions of people all over the world who are trying their best to live a Christian Catholic life. They ask only the possibility of having freedom of religion, freedom of expression, liturgical expression. If for any reason this is, this is impossible, then permit them, like you have permitted the Anglican Catholics, to start for all, uh, I'm going to get the, the legal language mixed up here, but for all, for all pur uh, purposes, uh, intents and purposes, their own right. It's, it's, uh, they have a right. Or like one of the Eastern Catholic rites, like the Maronites or the, or the, the Greeks, the Greek Catholics. Or, there, there's a way to accommodate these people. No one is asking anything un unbelievable. They're simply asking for the freedom to practice their religion that the Vatican would be the first not to permit people to practice their religion is, irony is not the word, irony is not the word, it's much too mild. Uh, this is, this is a, a, a grave insult. It's just a grave insult to all believers. Uh, also, let me, let me remind the Holy Father, if, if he's listening, and with all due respect, and I mean it respectfully, Holy Father, claimed to be a very dear and good friend of Monsignor Mario Marini. You told Monsignor Marini that you had no problem when Monsignor Marini was in Ecclesia Dei. He was, he was the secretary of Ecclesia Dei. You told him you had no problem with any of this, this whole question. When he died, you said it was one of the, one of the saddest days of your entire life by losing him. I would ask you, in memory of him to re-examine this because he fought very much for this to go through. Take, take also, Holy Father, the example, the fine examples of your predecessors, Pope John Paul I, who delivered, who delivered the first, his first address as, as Pope in Latin and was pushing for, their, for more Latin training. John Paul II, who gave permission to priests, for, to bishops, to, to, to permit their priests to offer the, the, the Tridentine Mass. And then when the bishops didn't follow through with that, he gave permission to the priests, write me directly, and I'll give you permission. Pope Benedict then later on said, just a minute, you don't need permission from anyone. The Mass can be offered this ancient, Traditional mass of the Catholic Church can be offered anywhere, anytime, without any Episcopal permission. Why not give that freedom back? Why not give that freedom back? Who is it affecting? Who is it hurting? You could be doing such a great, great, you know, I'm going to tell you something. Many people are willing to forgive, if not forget, <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of things that have been happening in the recent past, a lot of the confusion that has been purposely caused, if they would just be able to practice their religion. Let me underscore that, their Catholic religion. They ask for that opportunity, Holy Father. I really wish that in, in, uh, as, as the good father you want to be and are trying to be, I'm sure, that you grant that permission. Not make it more difficult, make it easier for people to be Catholic in the way that they would like to. I am pleased to announce the launch of the new LSN TV app, which can bring all of LifeSite News' top video content direct to your phone, tablet, computer, and TV so that you can bypass the censors and keep fighting with us for life, faith, family, and freedom. Don't be alone in the darkness. We've been canceled. Fight the cancellation. Download the app.